Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you the Champs news, live at 3, except in this case, it's a li live at 11.27pm due to technical difficulties. We're getting things kicked off with portal review of Howie Potter from the KSMA Slayers. Uh, he is League 16, roster talent of 1.79 million, 244 superstars owned. Uh, really nice win percentage, 97.3 all time, 97.5 last 30 days, very consistent there. 1,584 battles won in the last 30 days. My man's playing a decent amount of battles, and uh, I gotta be, I'm beefing with Howie. I'm not gonna lie, we're beefing. I don't have Queen of Spades. I'm missing three females in the whole game, and this is my favorite one that I played um, doing previews. So. Of uh, the three I'm missing, I'm missing my favorite, and Howie has her. So super jelly there, Howie. Very nice. Uh, veteran Cena was my first five-star silver. He can do some work. Alpha, I definitely love Alpha. He hits super hard. Um, you can clear two million plus damage on turn two with this guy at five-star silver. Uh, pretty ridiculous. We got Memrock here, who I also don't have, so I'm jelly about that. Um, and he's got HBK right here, DX Army, super, super strong, hard hitter. Gets even crazier at 5-star gold, which I'm sure Howie is on his way uh, towards. Howie's been playing a long time, 1,838 days, 367 consecutive. What happened 368 days ago, Howie? Um, he has 14 5-stars. 142 fours, 83 stars, and 10 two stars. So he's got room where he can do talent up. He has 50 showboats. Once again, showing the best class in the game is a showboat. Not just that there's more showboats. It's simply the best. That's why everyone has more showboats. He's got three Hall of Famers. Uh, 551 is his best feud rank. Holy faction heals, 4,600 in the last 30 days. That's 4,600 more than mine. Um, 134 feud wins in the last 30 days, and some top contests here for This Means War, Inhuman Rampage, uh, Third Birthday Contest, Steve Austin Hall of Fame, and Texas Pinham Contest. Um, so we're gonna, really nice roster, Howie. Uh, you're on stream all the time. I love having you there. Um, so appreciate you hanging out and very happy to do this portal shout out for you. Um, we're going to go over to the blog and check out the sweater Smackdown. Uh, there's no new superstar this weekend, but there are new gears and they are available this weekend in the sweater Smackdown showdown. Um, five different gears, all pretty good. Um, surprisingly this three MP to Roman Reigns does a lot for him. I'll be doing a five-star gold video on that so you guys can see. Makes him very, very usable with a couple different build sets. This health steal on Roman, um, you can get over a 600,000 health steal with this boost, so that's a pretty big one. Four black gems on Apex Predator Orton's amazing. You can drop Titus as a trainer and slot in your next, uh, your next preferred trainer. Makes a huge difference. Gotta say, this Drew McIntyre gear is kind of ridiculous. Uh, you can do some trickeration there um, and get a ton of damage. I'll have my 5-star Silver doing um, doing a video with him on that. The only one that's disappointing to me a little bit is this bleed damage one. Not really the fact that it's bad, more like it, it just doesn't flow as well as I'd like. Um, but they're all, like, some of them amazing gears like really boost the character's abilities um so overall pretty happy with the the christmas gears this year and love the s ugly sweater theme in particular orton's i think is super cute i didn't just say that but anyway uh i digress so normal showdown times tournament it's male female flash market this weekend no details on what flash market um, so we'll see what what's in there, but all the normal times there solo contest I'll have a breakdown for you guys on tomorrow's news of the scoring looks like about four million of the five million is doable free um, Which is pretty good. That's the rough estimate just by glancing at it um, required superstars though uh, Randy Orton apex is a little bit more rare um, and he's 500,000 points. So if you don't have him, you'll miss out on 500,000 there. Um, other than that, it's any Drew, any Roman, any Bailey, any AJ Styles, and any Alexa Bliss. Uh, so pretty open um, with the superstars you can use for the showdown. 
max milestone is the 5 million. Now, regular rewards, this is without spending. You can pick up 150 Orton shards, 150 head of the table shards. That's pretty dang good for people that don't have them. Uh, some solo points, both faction and um, solo for the MLC. 100 Nikki Ash tokens, 50 Sami Zayn uh, shards, couple tier four medals, 4.7 million coin, 525 TP. The next set of milestones are with spending. Um, you, if you max, I'm assuming max, it doesn't say max, but you get the Drew McIntyre Scottish Warrior gear, uh, which is really nice gear. I'd love to get that. Um, two sweater premium bags. These premium bags give you a chance at pulling a sweater or shards uh, for those characters there. Um, you got 250 more Roman Reigns head of the table shards, 250 more Apex Predator shards, bunch of extra tokens, more solo and MLC points for um, faction and solo, uh, more Sami Zayn shards, Nikki Ash tokens, and up to 15 million coin in the in the spend portion, 750 TP. Leaderboard rewards are the normal faction contest. Uh, you know, normal faction scoring, collect a uh, basic grab bag, talent up your superstar, spend a health pack, etc. Um, you can get one of the... Um, you get the, the, the gear for Powerhouse Drew. Uh, if your faction max... Well, I'm again assuming max. It doesn't say max. Um, you get one premium bag uh, with the chance at the sweaters. Uh, 275 Drew McIntyre Scottish Warrior Shards. A lot of Drew tech Drew Shards going out. He's a very good tech. Uh, so if you don't have him and you pick him up, uh, he may be somebody you want to build. He's really quite good. Uh, some more MLC faction points, coin, TP, and a decent amount. Uh, as well. Limited time tours. Uh, any AJ Styles, any Roman Reigns, uh, either of the Drews, um, Nikki Ash, and then Hulk Hogan, Santa Hogan. No idea how hard this tour is going to be. I kind of feel like it's not going to be super hard, you know, but who knows? We'll see, I guess. Um, from the tours, you can get AJ Styles Christmas gear from last year. Four of the sweater basic bags, which is a chance at either of the Drew gears. Um, or the the Bailey sweater gear, which is actually quite good on Bailey. Bliss's Christmas gear, um, as well as shards in there. Also from the tours, you get 1.2 million solo contest points for the SmackDown um, sweater faction points, and then uh, Christmas conspiracy solo points. Two million coin, 555 TP in there. You also got the five star silver loot. Another place to get gear. Um, you got these two guys and Riddle with gear is going to be in there too. If spending and pulling is your thing, that'll be there. So let's take a look at the offers on the portal today. And then we'll jump over to the game. Uh, actually, I may kind of jump back and forth because we're going to talk about Hogan Evo tokens. Actually, let me start there. So if you're... Basically, we're closing in on the halfway point of the 12 days of Christmas. Um, not quite there, but getting there. And we know what's in the weekend event. No Hogan points, um, no Hogan tokens uh, for that. So we're getting what we're getting, it looks like. Who knows what will happen week two. Um, so I made a, a couple things. First off, here's the Evolve chart. So worth noting for milestones, four-star bronze milestone will get you Hogan at 9K Trainer, which is at 2,200 damage to all gems at Coach. And that's huge. That's the milestone I'm shooting for personally. Um, five star bronze, if you have all of his stars filled, can get you the 17k for the plus one MP. That's a lot of tokens. 1,565, that's going to be very difficult to obtain. Uh, if, if, if something changes at the end, maybe I'll do a breakdown kind of for that. Right now, I'm going to focus on the four star bronze level. You need 455 total Hogan tokens to get to four-star bronze. Uh, Scopely has said that the only way you will get these tokens is from Christmas events, whether that's Christmas in July or Christmas in general. That's the only... He's not going to go to regular tokens. So that's what they've said. I mean, that's always subject to change, but that's what they've said. So my goal is to try and get him to four-star bronze and then hoping there's a Christmas in July and maybe I can get him to five-star. The five-star, I think, is a little bit optimistic, um, but the point being, get all the tokens you can because he's a great coach and he's never going to not be a great coach. So 
the cheapest way that I can tell as of right now um, to get to 480 shards every day on the portal you get three that's 12 days for 36 every day in the game you get two for 12 days that's 24 the blog says the tours are going to give out 140 uh, if you get to the 13.5 mil milestone you get 50 additional um, total on the way there uh, free you can get to about 12.6 million free um, stamps give you 180 and in the process of getting the stamps, you should be able to get to the 18.5 milestone, which gives you an additional 50 for 480 total. Now, when I say stamps, I mean this. You can see I've maxed mine now. This is a little bit late. This stamp book ends tomorrow at noon, so you won't have a lot of time to see this. I am assuming they will have another stamp book behind this. So if you missed the first one, uh, don't panic. Also, don't forget to be claiming your free daily stamps for your um, redemptions on the uh, conspiracy prize wall. Um, but if you max this out, it's $10 a stamp, and seven stamps gives you 180 Hogan Evolve tokens, which, as you can see, is a lot. Um, and you can't see my screen for what I'm showing you on the stamp, so let me move that. Um, so anything over... Uh, nine dollars gets you a stamp that means as far as i can tell at this point the cheapest way to hogan at four star bronze is seventy dollars if you don't spend try not to get discouraged i believe they said three star silver is where you can get them take the long view and hopefully in uh, if they do a christmas in july you can get them four star bronze then even at three star silver if you get the 1100 trainer that's still going to make a difference on a lot of your cards. It's still a good coach. Um, and in fact, I've been using the 600 coach even. So keep that in mind. Um, if you have any questions, leave comments. I'll try and explain it more if needed. And I'll keep updating this as it goes on. Don't panic if you don't have this. Um, and I know people are going to ask for good ways or what they should buy potentially. Um, obviously, you don't want to start overspending because even if you spend $20, you only get one stamp. So the goal is to not spend more than $9 as much as possible. So uh, this offer is one pull and one million points for the solo event for $10. The pull value is terrible. You're basically, uh, the pull is usually three bucks and you're paying $7 for one million points and $3 for the pull. Keep that in mind. Um, I purchased the, all of them that were available for this um, Battle for Christmas. It's a $9.99 pack. You can buy it three times. You get four pulls, a million coin, 100 TP. So I purchased those three uh, as part of my stamps. That got me three stamps. Backstage Pass was one. Uh, it was $9.99. Uh, I did purchase um, three days of this one that I don't like because uh, it was $9.99. Alternatively, if you don't like that one or you don't want to pay for the million coins, but you do want something, um, rubies you can always get for $9.99. Um, but the pulls do advance you in the contest, and you need to get to that 18.5 million mark, it looks like, for what we know now. So hopefully that helps. Um, other than that, for offers, uh, Mark Henry's okay. I don't think this is a necessary fuse up buy. Uh, to me, if you mine is four star bronze, I was able to clear the tour on hell mode with him at level 60, four star bronze, no gear. Uh, I'll post a link to that. It's up on YouTube in the description of this video. Um, this $99 pack is the best deal if you're going to whale. Uh, I don't, but that doesn't mean you won't, or I should say I usually don't. Sometimes I do, uh, but I like this one up here the most. Um, there's also the new premium pulls. Uh, if you're doing the premium pulls, it's probably because you're doing the prize wall medallion. I'm not. Um, so obviously the stuff with bonus stuff with the prize wall medallions is better than the stuff without. Um, if you're chasing a referee shirt, this 1999 one with seven premium pulls and 2,500 coin and the referee shirt is not a bad deal. That's probably the one I would get if I was chasing the referee shirt. Um, so there's that. The Battle for Xmas uh, 2499 pack gives you nine Hogan pulls and three million coin, uh, as well as some prize wall currency and 300 TP, decent value there. Um, free stuff I already claimed earlier. 
There is the free three-star bronze Mark Henry, and then of course the tokens and the MLC points. Make sure and grab those. Flash Market, don't forget to do your free daily reroll um, on the uh, web coins. You can uh, advance on the uh, Icon Flare. You want to look for ones like these with Shane Mack and Stephanie McMahon. They're 100 times EXP. So if I buy this for 20 web coins, I get 2,000 EXP. I buy this for 18, I get 1,800. That will give you a ton of milestones in the Flare contest. Um, and when you max this out, you end up getting Icon Flare. So make sure you're doing that. Uh, and doing your free daily reroll, saving your web coins for that kind of stuff. You can play trivia to earn more. Um, and that uh, they recharge like one energy every like 15 minutes or something like that. It's been a while since I've done trivia. Um, uh, events. There is the spend event going on. $10 gets you this. Uh, an evidence briefcase and a rip miss bag. $20 gets you this one with a week three conspiracy, five Sammy shards and a rip miss bag. Not that great. Honestly, we've had a lot better event milestones in my opinion. So if you do Amazon coins, I would recommend uh, buying in game with the Amazon coins, except for the stamps, right? If you're going for the stamps, then you got to do it on the portal. Um, usually these are better. So hopefully it goes back to being better uh, after this or next week. All right. Let's go over to the game, take a look at what's going on in the game. And at the end, I will pop up the, the charts on the Hogan tokens and stuff again. So um, there's some new tours today, but it's the same thing. Cesaro, Sheamus, PG related guys um, uh, for the event. Go ahead. Uh, if you don't know, I have a Cesaro build up on YouTube specifically for these tours, four star gold but he's not leveled very high i think level 60 or 70 um so it's a four star build um with no strap um and i have a build up for that i'll post that link in the description for you guys uh for the rip miss event if you're doing the single pull and you're crashing when you're doing the a video um you know that's great uh there's daily showdown for it uh three matches with hogan so make sure and do your daily showdown um, other than that, there's the spend one loot coin that you get a bonus for. If you're spending, do that. If you're not, don't worry about it. Um, we'll take a look at the loots and the offers real quick in the in-game, and I'll tell you what I think about those. See if there's anything different than the portal in here. It's a lot of the same, typically. Um, these are on the portal. I do want to call out that uh, health pack was added. So if you're short on health packs, you can farm candy canes. Uh, 15,000 gets you 100 uh, health packs. You can buy it 50 times. That's a lot of health packs. So you may want to use auto clear tickets or do some farming to do that. This was on the portal. These were all on the portal. Catch up pack was on the portal. Um, don't forget to do your free daily claim here. The premium coins were on the portal, so nothing new there. This is backstage pass loot. So if you are doing the premium, this is better pricing. You get four more pulls, uh, two million more coin, a little bit more TP uh, for the same price as the other $99.99, this one. You can see four less pulls and two million less coin. Um, so if you're a backstage passer and you're, you're whaling, make sure and grab that one. I'm not. Um, I don't think there's anything else new other than make sure and claim your free daily stuff. And if you're not... Um, just so you're aware, these you turn in here, and these you turn in here. I have one, you need two. Um, and the C I just, I just got but haven't claimed is turned in here. When you get each of these once, it unlocks this reward that you claim for free. I want to say it was 50 or 100 prize wall coins, so that's how that works. Um, this one um, right here. Uh, can be what those briefcases on the portal where you get them from here's the jersey for the 100 tp um i haven't this haven't got the intercontinental shirt that's out of milestone two possibility um but i haven't got that either when you unlock all of those you get shameless shards and stuff so um but yeah um i think that's it for stuff new on here so i'll go through the offers real quick and tell you what i think about those uh, the two new ones are the premium gear and the Seamus cash loot. Uh, the, the Christmas premium one, um, let's take a look. It is 2.76%. 
Uh, it says these come with, uh, so Santa's coming to town. Get Mankind, Mr. Sacco, and John Cena Veteran Salute with their Santa gear and other amazing superstars with their gear to unlock powerful boosts. So I'm assuming these all come with gear if they have gear. So Junkyard Dog with gear, Showstopper with gear. These guys don't. Um, Walter does. Walter with gear would be pretty cool. Uh, Alpha doesn't. Uh, Ted doesn't. Lana does. Um, and Eddie does. So the nice thing is there are no shards in the featured. 2.76% on a premium isn't bad. And um, most of these are pretty useful. So if you're missing these guys, okay, that's not bad. Do keep in mind, though, your likelihood of hitting a featured as far as odds wise. Uh, you're going to do probably like 35 pulls according to the odds before you get a featured. Um, so your mileage is going to vary, right? And these are all weighted differently. So if you have any of these guys, it obviously your chances go down um, every one you have. Uh, super rare is not real great at 4.53 and there's a lot less good stuff in there. Um, so I wouldn't really count this one uh, on that one too much. You're probably going to de be disappointed on that mark. 9.9% on the next mark. Uh, Johnny and Farouk are still kind of rare. Johnny's becoming less rare. I'm seeing a lot of people with him. Blue Blood is, is a little bit rare. And then you get the shards here. Pretty low shard count um, for, I mean, you know, it's 9%. Um, if you're close to Sako, HBK, or Veteran Cena, then maybe... Um, but again, keep in mind, this is a premium loot, so it's a little more expensive than normal. Um, this this one at 15%, really not a lot here. Um, and none of these are cards I would use anymore except for Fandango, but a lot of people have him. Fandango is actually really good. Shard counts okay, again, if you're close. Uh, NWO Brett was a free card. He is great for a free card if you have him, but uh, he was a free card, so I don't like seeing those in loot. On commons, at least there's Honky Tonk Man Hall of Fame in there. Um, and then if you're close to Sid or Eddie, maybe okay. And then into the commons, the commons are just pretty not too good. Uh, but if you're within 50 shards of like Farouk or Ted or Afa, okay. Champa and AJ, AJ for a trainer. Champa not so much anymore. Um, the game passed him by a little bit. He's still okay and still usable. Kind of mid-tier, but still okay. Overall, for a premium loot, although it's not as expensive as uh, a lot of the premium loots, I don't love the pool. But if you were missing a lot of the guys in the top, then maybe it makes sense. For me, I would say because it's Christmas uh, for the, the time, I would hold and see what else comes as far as spending my money. I do think the 12 days loot is a lot better than the premium loot, personally. Uh, that's just my opinion. So if I was going to spend, I would spend for this one and not for this one. Um, the Seamus cash loot was the other new one. 31 pulls, kind of standard pricing. This is Seamus' debut loot. Typically, debut loots are less good than average ones. 1.88%, not too high for 30 pulls. You're looking at doing probably two and a half, three megas before hitting a feature just by the odds. Um, and then, you know, there's a lot of different stuff in here. Most of them aren't bad. Uh, for the most part, you got Miz, Priest, uh, Trish was just given away free, Becky's not very rare, Eric, no, Charlotte's free, so I don't like those. Shard count's kind of low. Uh, basically, your odds are really not good of getting something good in here, right? So keep that in mind. You're kind of playing the lottery. Uh, next tier, I'm going to go through this one kind of quick. 2.37% on this one. Not, not so much, no shards, but I mean, it's going to be way heavier weighted for these three, right? That's just the way it works. That's not an equal chance of everyone in there. Uh, super rare is just pretty much a lot of not good. There's a couple in there and you're still talking only 6%. Uh, very rare is mostly all stuff that was, it's, it's all stuff that's been given away except for 20 to 75 Seamus shards. Uh, rare does have AJ in there at least, uh, but that's it. Uncommons have AJ and that's it. Then you get to commons, and you guys know on cash loots how I feel. Commons are really where it's at if you're close. Um, so if you were close to Priest and Lashley or Eddie, okay. Not Eric, because those are not, not good. Um, Eddie isn't really useful himself anymore. Not a great trainer. He's okay. So when I say he's useful, don't, don't get upset with me. I might level him at some time just because he's Eddie, and he's a 3 MP stealer. But he's not, like, super good anymore. Lashley is a good trainer. Solid fighter. Priest is really good fighter and really, really good trainer. So those are nice. But 
you also have these in there so typically you guys know with cash leads i like it when it's just shards and when i'm within like 50 or 100 or trying to get those last few shards so um keep that in mind basically what i'm saying is uh, I think the Hogan Leads the best one in there right now, and I don't really love any of the other ones at the moment. So uh, hopefully that's helpful. Hopefully the Hogan Breakdown helps you guys out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Sorry this one went longer than I wanted it to. Um, and uh, have a good night. And Well, you probably aren't watching this at night. Have a good weekend, and good luck out there.